obvious cup and handle that we can find. Look at this. As such, on top of the neckline, and this, my friends, is wrong. All right, guys, so he's not completely wrong here, but what I am saying is some of the stuff is wrong. And I want to really clear this up for you guys. If you have seen this and you've gone super bullish, uh, I do just want to kind of, uh, I don't want to take the wind out of your sails, but I do just want to say that uh, you want to be more realistic. And I was trained traditionally in trading. So uh, let me just, let me clear the air here, right? So first of all, first of all, what he's done here is uh, he's, he's put this high above uh, the horizontal line. This is not technically a bad thing okay uh, what we will say uh, in traditional trading what we're looking for here from this high uh, is uh, anything between i would say three to five percent would be okay okay anything between five to eight percent between these high levels uh, is a little bit more worrying it's not invalid but it is less valid okay uh, and then anything over ten percent is invalid uh, in my in in my opinion and a lot of other uh, professional traders opinions right uh, so it's not invalid it is still uh, potentially valid okay and again we are still expecting super high levels but i just want to talk about this pattern here to clear this up for you guys right uh, uh, that's the first point. So it's not invalid, but it, I mean, it's not super valid. All right. Uh, and then the second point here is this measure move. Okay. So this measure move, he's drawn this in like so. Okay. But he's done it on a non logarithmic chart. And typically with assets like Bitcoin, gold, a limited supply, uh, this kind of stuff, right? Uh, these will be traded on a logarithmic chart rather uh, than a standard chart, right? Uh, and Yes, a lot of people won't know what this means, of course, but all you need to take away from this is Bitcoin should be a logarithmic chart. And uh, yes, in the bottom right hand corner, if it's not on your trading, you should definitely go and check, right? You need to have that as logarithmic because that's like a that's rule number one for trading Bitcoin. OK, uh, what we will say in terms of that measure move. So he's done his measure move up to uh, to, to what? Like, is it 130 K? Uh, this is fine. OK, but again, if it was logarithmic, you can see the difference here, right? You can see a massive, massive difference here for that measure move. So if we get this measure move again, and then we play that out, and the bulls are going to love this, right? Uh, we can see that's actually up to 300k. So massive, massive difference there, like a doubling in price um, just from this simple mistake of not using a logarithmic chart. OK, so uh, just take that into account. Just just really do take that into account. Uh, but besides that, yes, this is a cup and handle. Uh, yes, it's not super valid, but it's not invalid. So cool. And it does align with a lot of the stuff we're going to talk about in this video anyway. But I just wanted to clear that up uh, at the start of this video. Be sure to like it. Be sure to subscribe to it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this and uh, if this has provided you any value for sure. All right. Uh, let's jump in to a brief update on everything that's happening in Bitcoin land. And then we will dive into the trades that we're looking for right here, right now. All right, kicking things off with the news here, we can see that uh, people are getting angry that crypto was not mentioned in uh, in the Trump Musk x space that's just weird like spacex but x space twitter spaces right uh they had trump and they had musk together and uh, yeah they didn't mention crypto oh my god crazy crazy yeah it's almost like they're just trying to get your vote <laughs> uh, so yeah if we can see here that uh as well yesterday it was a massive massive day across the board uh sats actually banging it here 23 percent, which is interesting okay uh, besides that yeah not too much to talk about everything just kind of trickling up here pretty decent uh, fear and greed here if we are looking it's down to a 31 or up to a 31 compared to yesterday uh yeah we are just going to see this oscillate between i would say 50 and 20 depending on the market uh, but if we do get over kind of 68k i would say uh, that this thing goes straight back to greed this is going to be volatile in itself so i, I wouldn't uh, put too much weight on fear and greed at the moment uh, if we are looking at etf overviews here if i just find usd we can see uh yes uh 27 million here as of uh the 12th which was yesterday um that's pretty decent okay i would say etfs recovering in, in confidence slowly here and if we are just going to bring up ethereum here where is ethereum gone there we go beautiful stuff uh, we can see that, yes, they actually had 5 million inflows here. So, yeah, Ethereum trickling in and out here at lower levels than Bitcoin to be expected here. If we are looking at production value, hello, or energy value, sorry, uh, we can see here uh, it's down to 79K. So essentially, if we get over 80K here, we go parabolic, right? That's all you need to know there. Um, if we are looking at this, we can see actually... 
Actually, uh, a downward slope is still continuing here on the money miners are spending on mining Bitcoin. Uh, that's something that should be worrying. Okay, that's that's pretty worrying. We'll get into hash rate in a minute uh, because that'll be the confirmation here. But yes, pretty bearish uh, to see this generally, right? Liquidation heat map here. We are seeing levels around 59.4 and 59.5. Okay, so I would expect those to be tapped at some point here. These aren't really levels where market makers have put them in to, to kind of get people scared or make it look like there's walls like they have done here, right? Uh, what they've done here is, uh, yeah, this is an actual person with a very, very close liquidation of $3 million. So yes, they're gonna be trying to grab this at some point today. Uh, so keep an eye out for this one, uh, exactly like this one, right? So we've got 4 million here. Uh, yes, market makers run it up there. They absorb all that money. They bring price back down and they've just made, what, $10 million, easy game. Okay, so yeah, keep an eye out for this one. A bit of a pump up today expected, but I do think we just range as we'll find out in a minute generally. If you do want free daily signals, we are putting them out right now. I've just put this uh, this free Bitcoin signal out in the Telegram, so be sure to check that out. Uh, the trades are literally there, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, just follow, follow the Patreon for free. It's just a follow button, no payment required, and I'll give you one daily signal on there. So let's just jump into the charts. Okay, looking at the charts here, and thank you for the messages, guys. I have fully recovered from uh, the heavy day of moving yesterday. I'm just trying to figure out my lighting situation. It's a little bit off here. Uh, but uh, yeah, if we are looking right here, right now, we're looking at the charts, we can see this is the general structure we're on about, right? So we've got this area here. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this cup and handle anymore. It's just it's just too far away. It's not something that's relevant right now. So I'm not going to waste your time with it, right? Uh, but what we will talk about is this death cross scenario, right? So the death cross right now, uh, we are seeing those cross um, in real time here on the daily, which is good um, because we should be expecting some kind of attempt to reclaim these over the next couple days um, and that'll be up to 62.3 so looking at potential long here but I think we could dump first okay uh, th this could happen pretty much any time over the next three or four days uh, where we do pump up to try and reclaim those but uh, yeah at the same time we have already attempted uh, right now so yeah coming down a little bit further makes sense to me and again what are you doing doggy <laughs> Yeah, and again, uh, we can see that uh, what we're looking for is to break over the 62.8k area, all right? So 62.8 is going to be the key area to watch. If we do get over that, it's a lot more bullish, okay? I would expect these to kind of reverse, and uh, and yeah, it would actually be a fantastic sign to see moving averages do something like this, okay? If you take indicators like crowns um what, what crowns crowns indicate i forget the name of it uh, they do stuff like this all the time where you are looking at moving averages and when they curl up like so it's a long signal right um and uh, we also see uh, crypto face have similar stuff as well with their with their indicators so uh, what we're looking at here is something like that to happen if it does happen it's fantastically bullish and we'll be targeting uh, this long as soon as we break over i would say 70k 70k is, is really the target here uh, where we do enter along uh, we would definitely take profit at the all time high okay but uh yes after that point we could probably actually take all of the profit out here wait for a load to come in wait to break the high again and then uh, take the rest of that trade up to 80k right super super easy there uh, and uh yeah very very justifiable and a nice trade to be targeting okay towards the downside if we do break down and again big news data week okay financial news financial data everything's coming out this week right so what we're going to be looking at is a potential for another black swan event if we do get that uh, i've already drawn this in yeah if we do get that uh, we're looking for a seven percent trade down to this trend line this trend line is super important i do expect it to hold but in the case that it doesn't let's just bring up uh, the main point here because we do want to talk about the highs that we talked about at the start of this video uh, which we are expecting uh, and that is currently at uh, yeah, about 330k. If we were to just dart up there today, it would be that. But obviously, this will this will go up over time, right? Because it is a linear regressional growth curve, and what that means is, uh, yeah, it, it takes the highs of Bitcoin uh, and it creates this curve and then uh, predicts future highs, right? The fact that we didn't hit this future high last time does give us a bit more of a range on this potential high of this bull run. Uh, so that could be uh, between 250k and say 400k. But uh, yeah, besides that, uh, it is looking like that's the target we're looking for here. And if we are looking at that, and I, I really don't like cup and handles, but they do work. So I've got to give them some credit here. If we are looking at the cup and handle, that is roughly the same uh, kind of area, right? 300k, that kind of zone. So it is in line. We just got to break over certain areas and then we're good to go. Uh, but besides that, yeah, in, in a more 
kind of uh, in a more present day kind of scenario, guys, uh, we are looking for a long from 70K up and we're looking for a short from 50K down, okay? That's pretty much the, synep the synopsis of our kind of macro long-term trades, swing trades coming through. Let's jump down to the four hour and see if we can find any uh, any trades here coming through as well. Uh, what, we're, what we're looking for here is pretty simple, okay? And thank you for liking the video if you haven't already, guys. It does help me out a lot. I really do appreciate it, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, what we're looking for here is to break this low. Okay, we break this low. There is a 1% trade down, okay, uh, 57.7 downwards, all right, but um, I'm more interested in a, a bigger short here, okay, and that short will be if we break this low here, okay, so we'll be below this horizontal line, okay, it will be more of a breakdown scenario, okay, uh, but that will be from 56.6 downwards uh, to roughly around 55k, okay, and that is a massive trade, 2.8%, can't go wrong with that thing all right and on the leverage you're making even more money all right uh, if we are going to bring up our little brush tool here what we're looking for for criteria for that is to come down test this area first i do expect a low to come in here okay uh, come back up retest the previous horizontal all right and then once we break that low that's the time to, to enter okay uh, if we break the low before that point riskier but you could probably find a short on like a 15 minute or a one hour bouncing off like a 7 sma something like this right but uh yeah this is the, the the best healthiest version of this trade i would say right the the least likely to trap a uh, version right so uh yeah just in summary here we're looking to test 56.6 retest 58k and then break 56.6 uh, for an entry for a short all the way down to 55k okay uh, that is what i'm looking for in terms of the kind of medium term i would say or short term generally uh, and uh, we do have a beautiful little trend line coming through here as well if we break this at any point today, then uh, there is potential, but we are kind of shifting along this trend line very nervously right now, and it does look like we want to come down. Okay, so just be careful with that one. Uh, but what we will say, if we can break over, I would say 62K here, uh, fantastic stuff for Bitcoin, and I would expect us to come up and test uh, about 64 from that point. There's a few ways you can trade this, okay? Uh, you could you could get in a, along here, ride this up to this more comfortable level, okay, for 1%, uh, or... You could uh, you could take profit along each high that comes along here. Okay, so uh, yeah, get in here, uh, take profit at 62k, uh, take profit at uh, 62.8, and then uh, yeah, maybe close that trade out roughly around 64k uh, from that point, right? Uh, but th those are kind of the the two major trades I'm looking for on the macro anyway. And then if we are looking just generally in the the shorter term here, like as of today on the one hour. Uh, I'm really not expecting much to happen today. I'm expecting more sideways trappy action, okay, uh, as, as we're waiting for these news kind of stuff to come out, right? But uh, this is generally what we're looking for here, right? So right now we're running a grid bot, but, uh, and it has been fantastic, this volatility running the grid bot. We've been saying this for a few days now, okay? So if you did set up a grid bot in this area, good stuff, okay? But yeah, we made some decent money yesterday running that thing. Uh, but what we're, look what we're looking for here more than anything, and this is super risky, but um, yeah, I mean, these would be the trades, I guess, but really risky. Okay, so just be very careful in this shorter time frame, particularly in volatile times. These trades are a lot easier if it's if it's trending, right? But uh, we're not trending right now, so uh, yeah, take this with a grain of salt. But we're looking for about 60k upwards to uh, this wick trend line here. Okay, and that would be up to 60,500, 60,600. So 60k to 60,600, and then a short if we break this low here uh, down from 58.8 down to 58.3 okay uh, super risky these trades really really just do take care when you're trying to find them uh, we are just seeing even after all this volume coming through on the hourly it's now going back into compression which does indicate more sideways action okay uh, and volatility is now decreasing as well so uh, yeah it just indicates we're gonna we're a lot, lot more likely to trap in this area than do anything else but if we do trend it's actually better it's a lot more tradable it's easier for you guys to trade as well so uh, we'll see how that goes but as of right now, expecting more sideways, expecting lots of wicks, a lot of dirty, trappy sideways action. And we're going to be looking to try and trade that with our grid bot, okay, on automatic. But besides that, if we do break out here today, um, then uh, yeah, there will be other trades that we can target that we've uh, we've kind of highlighted in these areas anyway, right? But uh, that's going to be it for me. Oh, no, I just wanted to uh, want to talk about hash rate real quick. Let's just see how that's progressed over the weekend because I don't think we mentioned this yesterday. Okay, fantastic stuff. Okay, hash rate's looking fantastic, all right? Uh, the Cost for mining Bitcoin, as we talked about earlier, not so great, okay? But hash rate actually looking okay. Uh, this is actually looking positive. Uh, if we break this all-time high again uh, in terms of raw hash rate, I think it's fantastic for Bitcoin, and I will just be looking 
for an uptrend to start, okay? Really, really well. Um, obviously, the world is crazy right now. A lot of things can happen financially with the markets, but uh, in terms of supply and demand for Bitcoin, the miners are keen to mine more Bitcoin. And that typically means, uh, from a supply and demand standpoint, is the miners think that uh, the miners think that Bitcoin will go up over the next six to eight months. That's good. That's a bullish signal. So it is time to be accumulating Bitcoin. All right. Uh, that is going to be it from me. Have a fantastic day. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out Prime XBT. I'm, uh, I'm finishing this trading contest tomorrow. Okay. It's going pretty well. Feel free to check it out uh, on Prime XBT. Uh, but uh, yes, it's going to take a few days to edit and then I'll try and get it to you this weekend. I'm, I'm planning to get Saturday videos to you guys of just longer form me doing a trading contest every week uh, and you guys can see kind of the journey and how I've progressed over the week for those trading contests but we're doing pretty good right now we're 71st out of 2,000 people uh, we we're gonna take a big risk tonight <laughs> so it could go really well or really badly uh, but again it's not real money and we are just here more for the storyline and more to try and place in that top 10 right it's really more of a game kind of thing but uh, yeah, to be a, to win the game, you have to be a good trader, right? So I'm just kind of showcasing that. But yeah, good stuff. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Have a fantastic day. Be sure to like the video. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to it. Subscribe to it, right? You've got everything you need here. You don't need any of these other channels, okay? You just come here. Just come here. Join the gang. Join the gang, all right? If you did see the secret code, whack it in the comments. See you guys very soon. Cheers.